Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are doing another fan casting. Um, I had so much fun yesterday doing the one for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, so today we are talking about, as you can tell by my shirt, not just Deadpool, but the whole X-Men. Now I have certain ones that I want to see in these roles, but some of them I know that they're not going to get cast because they're part of the other part of the universe. Um, now, I'm going to start with the people that I don't want to replace at all, and that is of course Hugh Jackman as Wolverine and Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. They would be, they're still perfect to this day, and apparently Hugh Jackman is going to return in Deadpool 3 and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, so I'm so down to see him in those. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is going to keep going on as Deadpool, so I'm so glad to see that he's going to be returning into the MCU more than just getting recasted, because no one can play a good Deadpool better than Ryan Reynolds. Alright, so, but if I was going to recast Wolverine, it would have to be someone that I did yesterday, and that is, of course, Keanu Reeves' Wolverine. Um, because if you watch uh, John Wick, I could see him playing a Wolverine, and plus, he would have a look to it that is Wolverine. So, I want to see Keanu Reeves playing Wolverine in Marvel's X-Men films. Um, okay, so next one, which is Cyclops. I had to think about these next ones pretty hard because I was like, well, who would be better, or at least on the same level, as um, especially with Cyclops, with James Marsden? Um, because James Marsden was in the original trilogy. So, and I think those are future past as well. I could be wrong on that. But... Anyway, I would cast Henry Cavill, Superman, as Cyclops, which, that would be a amazing thing. I didn't even really think that he would make a good Cyclops until I saw a picture that I'll show you in a minute. And also with him, since I'll pair them together, uh, Jean Grey. I would want Gal Gadot to play Jean Grey. Um, I think that Henry Cavill and Gal Gadot would be perfect as Cyclops and Jean Grey. And... From seeing that fan photo, I was like, yes, you could have um, Henry Cavill as Cyclops and Gal Gadot as Jean, uh, Jean Grey slash the Phoenix, and that would be, that would be great. Um, now, Professor X, I was thinking very hard about this one, especially because I had to think of someone that can carry... Um, I guess that can be seen in a chair, bold, um, being the old wise man, um, but also, um, if he needs to fight, he can do a pretty good job of the fighting. And that's Brian Cranston. If you watch him in the 2017 Power Rangers movie, he was covered in blue makeup. He played the Red Ranger for the beginning. That whole beginning part. Even when he's in the spaceship, where he's given that, those white, saying those wise things, I'm like, I could definitely see him playing a Professor X. Even though that Patrick Stewart, while WandaVision was coming out, Patrick Stewart was in talks to Marvel about playing a role. Um, we don't really know what that role is, because we would have thought that his, um, what do you call it, uh, Professor X would have been in one division, but wasn't. So I am. Would if we don't get uh, Patrick Stewart, Brian Cranston would be my choice. Now Storm. Halle Berry did an amazing job in the original trilogy. I can't wait to bring her back, but again, the script that they made her uh, kind of portray the character, especially in that first one. Some of the lines that they give her was just very weird. It was just like, 
Do you know what happens to a toad when it gets struck by lightning? The same thing that happens to everything else. That was a little odd. So, I would be down to see uh, Jada Pickett Smith play Storm in an X-Men film with the MCU. Um, I haven't seen most of her films, except for the Madagascar films, but she has the look of a Storm. If you gave her the white hair and if you want to go with the black, um, the black again, um, or even if you want to go more of the comic book uh, road, which is what the MCU is known for, um, the com more comic book type of look, no matter if you put in the black and uh, the black kind of uh, tank top and leather pants um, in the comics, or if you go the full black that Halle Berry wore in the original X-Men films, no matter what costume you put her in, she's going to look fantastic. Alright, so next one. Um, Rogue. Rogue was a very hard one to get. But, have, has anyone seen the 2017 Baywatch film? I love that film. It's a really good, funny film. One of my favorite comedies of all time. Um, but, when I saw this person in Baywatch, I'm like, if you had black hair with a little bit of uh, white coming out, you would make a perfect rogue. And that is, of course, um, Alexandra Dodorio. She would do an amazing job as Rogue. You could have her with the black hair and the white, um, the white bit of hair in the first film, and then when the films go, her hair can get more and more white, and then she'll be the iconic Rogue that everyone knows. Um, so I think Alexandra Dodorio would do an amazing job as Rogue in a X-Men film for Marvel. Now this one here is kind of a fun one um, because I haven't seen Logan. So I had to think very hard about this one. I'm like, who could play a good X-23? And if you didn't know, X-23 is Wolverine's daughter. Um, and from what I remember of the trailers of Logan, that little girl did an amazing job as X, as X-23. But I'm like, I want to change, uh, I want to recast her. So, if you watch, not necessarily Daytime 1, but Daytime 2, that girl in Daytime 2, I'm like, you would be an amazing X-23. Sorry, I'm just... I figure out how to say the name. Um, sorry if I get get it wrong, but um, Orcas uh, did a costume. I hope I'm saying that name right. Um, she played Mark Warburg's daughter. Um, she was had like a bit of a role, like she was in the ending of the first one, but throughout the entire uh, entirety of the second one, she was in that. So she was one that I'm like. I can totally see you as a X-23 because if you look at her, she um, in Daytime 2, she has that kind of, I don't really care, you're not my dad type of attitude. And I could, just by that attitude, I could see X, um, I could see her playing in X-23. So, yeah, so guys, that's my um, fan casting for the MCU's X-Men. So, guys, um, I had a lot of fun doing this, uh, both this and, of course, the Ninja Turtles one. The Ninja Turtles one was amazing to do. Um, the Ninja Turtles one got me more to get those A, B list actors. This one got me those A, B, and C-ish actors in there. So, I had a lot of fun doing this. So, guys, please, hit the like button down below if you haven't already. Hit subscribe. Also hit the little bell icon to get notified of future videos I make. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel.
and also press this bell icon.